Introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Boromir Thukdi. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting on the red corner, 37 years of age. He stands with an and 62 centimeters tall and breaded with an and 24.4 pounds. He, a record of 30 wins, 10 losses and 10 draw, representing the Khonrachasima province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Pat Jupin, Common Guy, Sora! And his opponent fighting about the blue corner, 23 years of age. He stands when it adds 67 in Miss Hall and when it adds 25 pounds, he a record of 16 wins and 3 losses. Represented Nepal. Let's hear it for Bharat Soyrasjian. All right, here we go. First bout of this week's RWS. The week where we find out which welterweights make it through to the final. In the meantime, let's find out what happens here in bout number one. Scheduled three rounds as always here at RWS. Pet Yupin from Thailand and Baron from Nepal. Yeah, like you said, I believe this is the very first fighter here in Russia man from Nepal. Or in RWS at least. Competing tonight as the first prelim fight. You see Pet Yupin is taken to the center of the... Sorry. Baron is taken to the center of the ring. Now he's pushing back Pet Yupin. 37 years of age now, Pet Yupin. Can't be long left with being honest with ourselves. I'd like to make a mark here at RWS, one of the biggest promotions in the world of Muay Thai. Attempted left hook there from the Thai. Definitely more experienced yeah, I'm sure. the Thai fighter, but this is going to be interesting, especially in this first round. Oh, solid left hand there from Baron. And again, looking for that knockout. Oh, nice left kick there from Baron, putting everything he had behind that. Oof. Good answer from Pedrican with a middle kick, showing no emotions there, even though he did get caught. Beautiful right kick. Baron says it was a little bit low, the ref says nothing. Keep on fighting, keep on going. And yeah, you can see the most experienced fighter pushing forward. Yeah, you can see though that every time that he does that Baron is waiting for that left hand. Oh, and a swing in right just misses the mark that time. Could have been a clash of heads there as they went together. Good action here in this opening round. Pet Lupin from Thailand. Baron from Nepal. So some good hands there from Baron. Oh, and again, that left hand, once again, second or third time in this round, going through the guard of the Thai fighter. Baron pushing forward. You say it week in, week out, Antoine. Some of the Thai fighters, they're used to the five rounds where in the opening two rounds, they get to basically take it off. Where you don't have to apply yourself as much. Whereas these foreign fighters in these third round sprints here at RWS, you've got to get going from the start. And if you don't, you're going to eat a lot of punches. Absolutely. I mean, especially here in RWS with open score. You lose the first one, this is, makes it much more complicated to actually win the fight. Oh, but here. Yeah. Beautiful midsection kick there from Petro Pin. Oh, right hand to the body. Good work there from the Thai. There's more people coming into the stadium. Of course, me and Antoine can't wait for Hercules and Joachim Pond. Oh. With Tila Dar and Sen Pond to take to the ring. Very exciting times now here at RWS. Great action right now on the ring. Petro Pin starting to find his rhythm with the middle section and the kicks. We've already got two final set. We've got Capitan versus Nernwang left at 140 pounds. End of round one. Great action. Interesting, uh, interested to see how the judges are going to score this one. I was about one. to say the same thing. Because Baran, obviously, a lot of combinations. Those hands were vicious. But towards the end of the round, we had a few very good middle kicks from yeah, I just put it at home. I, I don't disagree with it. No, I, think, I, I, think I like uh, that. I like the fact that sometimes, sometimes Thai judges are known for going more about, it's more about kicks than it is hands. So when I was with you, I thought we might have saw it in favor of 
of the Thai fighter, but no, they didn't. Oh, good Ooh. elbow through the guard there from Barun. And now, as you mentioned, you've said it before, Thai fighters usually like to take it slow, and now you can see Petyupin turning the pace on and pushing forward much more than he did in the first one. Yeah, again, looking for that right hand and right kick combination is Petyupa. Oh, all fighters connecting almost with those right hands there. And again, swinging left hand there from Barun. Oh. Good left kick, left hand there on the back foot. As again, Pet Yupin pushes forward. Trying to force his knuckles to the front of that glove. Too quick. <laughs> oh! oh! Shot off the fight so far. Beautifully timed. Left hand there by Barun. Stunning. Barun, the fighter we've never heard of until now. But wow, what a performance so far. Great action. Yeah, fighting really well off the back foot as well. <laughs> There's a right hand there through the guard from Pet Yupin. You can see Pet Yupin slowing down just a little bit, perhaps age. <laughs> perhaps the opportunity for Baron now to push forward. Seems happy to be fighting off the back foot though. And Pet Yupin hasn't really forced any problems. Another left hand going through the guard there by Baron. Again. Pet Yupin is hesitant, looking for an elbow that time. Oh! Again through the guard, Pet Yupin says, bring it on! Oh, and the crowd is loving it, this is what I want to see. Beautiful middle kick. Oh, good kick there, Pet Yupin is angry. Yeah, this is the experience, the composure from the Thai fighter. Oh, good right hand there. Baron favoured a right hand to the body, but Pet Yupin was able to counter. A good flurry of punches and kicks there by Baron. You can see that Petyupin is getting frustrated though with the fact that Baron is moving back. But Petyupin is scoring at the moment. Kicks yeah, to the body. This is a close round. Close round, a great action from the Thai fighter towards the end. Baron, he needs to get back to his game, stay composed, do combinations and don't fall oh, for right what Petyupin is doing right now. I think that right kick is actually hurting Baron at the moment. Yeah, you can see, good spot there. Antoine was just pointing to the left arm. The top of the left arm is marked up from those kicks of Pet Yupin. If he continues to throw that, Baron might not be able to continue. And again to that arm. He's going after it. I think that Pet Yupin knows that he's hurt. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. And this is why Baron is slowing down and somehow not throwing punches like he was in the first round. Exactly. And it's that left arm that was doing a lot of the damage with the punches being thrown. Oh. oh, good low kick there from, he might have turned the tables already at the moment. I think that was a fantastic round by the Thai. Absolutely. He agrees. Great composure, great timing and precision from the Thai fighter. And again, like you said, I think Baron somehow is hurt on the shoulders from all those kicks. This round will win the fight go into the third round with a very confident Pet Yupin right now. Will experience pay off? Now it's going to be interesting. How do you assess this tactically? Do you move forward? Do you sit back? The thing we've seen though, when it has been a judgment round, when both fighters have been drawing after two, is that neither don't want to make a mistake and that can make them a little bit hesitant sometimes. Oh, absolutely, and the mistake for Baron right now will be to not push forward and to actually be waiting as we've seen Pep Yupin fighting so well, pushing forward in the second round. You don't want to let him do his own game. Exactly. Baron, he looks a little bit lost right now. Perhaps a little bit of fatigue now fatigue. And, and the pain yeah, on the left side. That as well as being dumped can take you, can sap the energy out of you. Yeah, oh, another spot there by Anton. You can see a, a well on the left leg. Potentially from a that low kick at the end of round two. Yeah, it might have been Baron definitely the more injured out of the two. <laughs> For sure. Pet Yupin, I like what he's doing. Oh, and again, the back of that left thigh. Baron fighting like he's hurt. He's feeling the pain now, which is a shame because in round one he did so well. Yeah, absolutely, and again, we're questioning the physical abilities of Pet Yupin due to his age at 37 years old and here you can see him not gassed out and he's in great shape and the fact that now Baron not pushing forward is making it even easier for the Thai fighter. Yeah, and Pet Yupin is being relentless here. Even when Baron's trying to circle away like this, he's chasing him. Left hand there from Baron, but just didn't have that snap like it had in. 
the first round. And Pet you've been, I mean, he's, he's dumping Baron right now, but is he scoring enough? Yeah, and somehow Baron looking a little bit out of energy. Mm. He needs to do something with a minute left. Everything is still possible for both fighters. Yeah, I agree with the referee. You've got to tell him to go after it right now. There's still a minute to go, and you can win this fight. You've just got to push forward and go after it. Left kick to the body there. Sorry, right kick from Pet Lupin to the body of Barun. Yeah, absolutely. And difficult times, difficult moments. It all comes down to who wants it more. Oh! oh good right elbow there from Pet Lupin on the counter. Left kick by Barun. Left hand. He's waking up. 40 seconds left on the clock. Looking for that left hand once again. Just glances off that chin. Does it connect? Oh, good take down that time from Barun. I feel like he needed that to even the score on two and dumps. Baron looking at the clock. Attempted right kick, missing there from Pet Yupin. Baron's just got to bite down on that gun shield and go for it right now. It's 20 seconds left. Come on, push forward. Yeah, you can see the Kai fighter controlling the fight now, saving. Yeah, he thinks that he's up. I probably would have to agree with him as well. Wow, there you go, end of the third and final round. We will go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. They can see Pet Yupin thinks he's good enough in that third and final round to take it. So does Baron, <laughs> seemingly. I'm not sure I agree with that assessment. Of, I think yes. that Pet Yupal was being more aggressive and connected with the more significant strikes, so I'm being honest, but I've been wrong before. Good performance from both fighters tonight. Let's have a look at the highlights from the fight. Yeah, there you can see to the arms. That was in the second round, Pet Yupal. And then in that third, catching him. And then that beautiful timed elbow by Pet Yupin once again. All right, let's get the official confirmation for that. MC at ringside, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. The first judge scored is about 30 to 27. The second judge scored 29 to 28. And the last judge scored 29 to 28. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision. Round one. 